What was Chesterton's response to the growing movement and development of atheism at the time? Well, this is one of his most innovative features, really, because he was one of the first to point out that actually already then secularism had become dominant among the intellectual and political leaders of society. We forget this 100 years ago, but uh, the historian Adrian Hastings, for example, points out that after about 1880, um, English church going has peaked. By the end of the 19th century, not only has much of the working class um, moved away, drifted away from the churches, but there is a new phenomenon at the beginning of the 20th century, uh, the unmistakable decline in Christian belief of the middle class. There was a famous survey by a liberal member of parliament called Charles Masterman in 1909 called The Condition of England. And in that he wrote, the middle class is losing its religion. The drift away is acknowledged by all to be conspicuous. And that's in 1909. And the middle class is losing its religion then. And the working class had lost quite a lot of its religion already. For the intelligentsia, Adrian Hastings points out that since the mid-Victorian age, a climate of disbelief had been building up till by 1920, the principal intellectual as distinct from social orthodoxy of England was a confident agnosticism, an emphatic presupposition of disbelief. So the world he's working in at the in, among the intelligentsia and the leaders of society is much more sceptical uh, than we, we realise today. And so he turns that around and actually says Christianity is uh, the rightful rebellion against the evil empire of secularism, that already uh, secularists are imprisoning the human spirit and the, the, the human uh, mind needs to be liberated and brought back into contact with the transcendent. So, for example, in Orthodoxy, he depicts Christianity as the eternal revolution and writes about the romance of Orthodoxy, not the rightness, not the respectability of Orthodoxy, but the romance of Orthodoxy. And he brings the romantic, the rebellious back uh, into his portrayal of Christianity and uh, pictures Christian as as an exciting Christianity as an exciting adventure, subverting a, a dark, dominant and constricting secular social order, a brave rebellion against secular ways of thinking that actually imprison the human spirit. And so he was very creative in his response to the new secular ascendancy uh, in the England of his day. <laughs>